Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prooftech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 25. Inside this video session guys, we are going to use EJS template engine in our Node application. And I strongly recommend to watch our previous video that is part number 24 for this lecture. In that video, basically, we had discussed about what is template engines in our node application. So, if I go to the next step, now use of EJS as a template engine in our node application. EJS stands for Embedded JavaScript Templating. It is a template engine used by Node.js. Template Engine helps us to create an HTML with the minimal code. These are the things actually we had discussed in our previous video. So Embedded JavaScript is a simple templating language which is used to generate HTML with plain JavaScript code. Also, if we want to populate our dynamic values either via APIs then also we can use and populate those values in our embedded JavaScript templating engines. So here, how can we install EJS in our Node application? So via npm, we have a single command or it's a simple command that is npm install EJS and this is flag for saving our dependency in our package.json. So if I back to editor, now open about package.json. So right now we have no EJS template installed. So let's say firstly I am going to install that template engine. So if I copy this command or simply back to terminal, cancel this server first and clear out and let's say that npm install embedded javascript template engine so ejs and save for the template dependency so pressing enter now we can see that we are just in the way to install ejs template engine in our node application so successfully we have installed that so back to editor now we can find that we install ejs with the version called 3.0.1 so if i back to our application folder and inside this let's create a file something let's say server.js now inside this file firstly i'm going to import let's say export sorry const and let's say express require and let's say express here also let's say const app equal to and we are going to assign the express functions and its properties to our app object and finally we can listen all the requested urls to this express port so firstly we need to define a port so let's say const port equal to and let's say we are going to again listen at 5000 port so here let's say port anonymous function and let's say console.log let's say server is running at let's say 5000 port so successfully we have done that and if I make a simple route so let's say simple route and here let's say app.get this is for the home page and let's say function here we have called request as well as response object and simple line let's response dot send and we are going to populate all about single h2 tag so let's say h2 let's say welcome to node application all we have done now so if I back to terminal and let's say that nodemon this is the tool what we have installed in our previous videos so nodemon and this is all about server.js pressing enter now server is running at 5000 port back to browser reload this page so welcome to node application now back to editor 
Now for now, we have just rendered about only a single HTML line. Now let's say that we are going to create our HTML template and by the help of our EJS templating engines, we are going to use that. So first thing first, we are going to tell our node application that we are going to set our view engine template something EJS. So how can we set to a template engine inside Express? So in the simple way, let's say app dot set and in the first parameter we need to pass let's say view engine and in the second parameter we have to pass our template engine name something EJS. So here if a line if we write one line comment so let's say setting template engine to express okay so when we do such type of setting templating engines then we are going to make a views folder inside our application because by default EJS looks for a views folder inside our application. So let's say that instead of this single line, we are going to run to HTML page. So simply let's say res dot means response dot send. Inside the first parameter, we are going to pass our template file name. So right now we have already a views folder inside this application. So go inside views folder and we are going to create a file something let's say welcome and this time the extension we have called EJS stands for embedded JavaScript. So this is the template engine or the file name that we are going to use inside our node application. So we have made welcome.ejs and also successfully we have tell to our express that we are going to use view engine as EJS template engines. So here simply we have means EJS always looks for a views folder and inside that all the files it will render. So let's say that if you write welcome then it automatically see welcome.ejs inside views folder. Let's suppose that we have another folder with the another name inside this views means let's say apart from the views name we have let's say pages. So inside that condition we have to set manually something app dot let's say set. So here we need to write something called path. Sorry it's not path it's views and we need to use called the path dot join and inside this we have to get the current directory and we need to concatenate with our let's say pages folder. So instead of this views folder if we have called pages folder then to set a custom folder this is the way to set. Now before that we need to import this path so here at the first point here we need to write called const path equal to let's require and here we need to pass called path package name. This is the way to use our custom folder for our views. But for EJS we have a default folder structure defined that is we need a views folder inside our application. So inside this folder we have welcome.ejs so that's why we had it in now back to this and let's say that we have simple HTML so let's say HTML we have a head or back to our about us page copy all the contents pasting inside this template and let's say welcome to node application and this is instead of about page let's say welcome page so if I back to our module file and now all is setting properly. Now next, instead of this send, we need to write called render here because this time we are going to render a template file. So response.render and this is our template file name. So if we save all these changes, back to browser, 
reload this page now as you can see that welcome to node application so also if i make some changes here so let's say ejs save this file reload this application now we are getting about welcome.ejs file is now successfully rendering to our home page also let's see that instead of this views folder now i think that you might have some confusion so let's say pages folder we have and inside this pages folder let's say about us dot ejs template we have and also if i back to our server.js file copy this file putting it here not this line actually if i copy this line pasting it here also copy this file and pasting it here now it also looks inside pages folder as well now if we save this file and back to our browser so before that we have set our views path at this directory called pages folder now our ejs is now looking inside pages folder instead of views folder because we have changed the path of our views file so if i back to our browser reload this page now we have error errors that fail to look up view welcome in views directory obviously because we have now no views folder for this application because we have used or set pages folder for our templates so again if i go inside pages and put about us copy all the contents pasting it here and now let's say that welcome to about us page so here let's say about us page so if i back to our module file and instead of welcome because this is the file is not available inside this pages folder so about us and successfully this file will be look inside this pages folder right here by the help of this path now if we save this module back to browser reload this page now we have about us page now let's say that we are going to pass some dynamic values to this page instead of this simple static message so how can we pass some dynamic values via this route or let's say via this block and successfully we are trying to get all the values to the to this ejs template so how can we pass that so back to editor now right here inside this random method we are going to pass an object and inside this object basically we are going to put key value pairs so let's say that name equal to online web tutor and we are going to use email as a key and let's say online web tutor hub at gmail.com now we have two properties inside this object called name and email and we are going to access these properties inside our about us template file so back to this file and let's say that if we change this to h2 tag let's say that inside this h3 tag let's say our name and email and right here inside this let's say h4 tag simply let's say name and putting a br tag and let's email here so right now we have no values now if we want to access or if we want to print any value inside this template we have a syntax for that what ejs defines so we will see about the complete syntax of ejs in our next videos so for now this is the symbol actually we are going to use something so before equal to sign it's percent here and finally it's percent here because we are going to print some value here so we need to write this is the syntax so now let's say that we are going to print the name value and this name value actually we are getting via this file so this is the way to print our name copy that pasting it here 
and we are changing for the email value. Now if we save this file, back to browser, reload this page, now we can see that our name and email and here is the name and here is the email. So this is the way to populate any value what we are getting here to our template files. So in the next video, we will see about more things about EJS template and also we will see that how can we make use of loops inside template engines. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my lab reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.